What is going on YouTube? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Michael Douglas here with Douglas Lawn Care and I wanted to give you guys a review of my trailer that I use for my lawn care business. It is an interstate trailer. Obviously it's an enclosed trailer. It is seven by 14. I do have the V nose in the front so it does give that extra two feet. So really it's a seven by 16 trailer. So let's get into the video and get my things that I love about this trailer and some things that I don't love about this trailer and uh, let's get into the video guys thanks for watching from my local dealer in Goebbels, Michigan. Great people over at Central Auto. If you are in the area, I would highly suggest checking them out. Um, great people, great service. I ended up going with the aluminum trailer frame. And the reason, guys, I went with the aluminum trailer frame is just because it's quite a bit lighter than the steel trailer. And I am towing this with a Ram 1500. Now the Ram 1500 has no problem whatsoever towing this aluminum trailer. To be honest, I don't think it would have a problem at all towing a steel trailer. Um, but it, when I was looking for trailers, I just wanted something a little bit lighter uh, so it is a little bit easier for my truck. It was a little over $1,000 to upgrade to the aluminum frame from the steel frame. I went with the black matte finish. Uh, I love the color, it matches my truck. It looks amazing. Uh, one negative sign about this, it shows scratches. I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but it shows scratches all over. And I have a whole bunch of scratches on both sides of my trail. highly recommend the radial tires they have lasted three seasons you can tell there is a little bit of wear and tear um, but not a whole lot I do need to rotate these tires uh, before I start using this trailer again for lawn care season we have a vent on this side and the, the vent is great especially in the um, hot hot months um, just to get all my gases and fumes and all that stuff and we walk around the other side real quick we have another vent right here and there is one on the top um, on the curb side of the trailer there is a lock here with the door um, the lock is pretty nice i've had not had any issues with the lock whatsoever so i don't have any complaints um, basically we're just going to open the door here and it swings open and you can tell it locks right in place i've had no issues with that door this um hub right here is a little worn and it's worn because of the rain and that kind of makes me a little bit upset uh, I think that has probably a little bit too much wear and tear on that um, and it's really just caught right in the seam right here and I think on the other side it is coming apart a little bit so I should probably throw some more caulk in there just to seal it up uh, but I think these hubs are a little cheap to be honest with you for, I mean you're paying um, six to seven thousand dollars for a trailer I would think you're gonna throw a little bit heavier duty hub right here on there when my trailer is lit up in the dark guys it looks amazing it's it's a, a beautiful trailer you got some LED lights on each side by this vent here there's another LED light um, right on the hub right here there's a LED light we scroll around on the top guys there's LED lights on the top as well so your entire trailer is going to be lit up with the interstate trailer um, yeah right on the front LED lights on the top it just looks really really nice in the dark time when it's all lit up I want to talk real quick about the locking system and the latches that the interstate people put on my trailer I don't know if this is going to be what all interstate trailers look like I'm just going to show you what I have come into problems with on this trailer I have two different styles of locks here um, one right here you can throw a lock in to lock the entire trailer um, so we'll open this guy up right here and another lock right here where a key goes so you can lock it with a key as well this is almost pointless in my opinion um, this holds the door shut it's not going anywhere with the shut at all um, 
they did not design this well at all. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. This is coming out too far. It's actually bent. It should be um, further in. And if we move to the other side real quick here, I will open this. Um, and you can see it is bent a little bit here too. I'll show you exactly why real quick. We open that up, let her drop. When you are on pavement and you're driving a mower or whatever you're driving over here, um, it pushes this down a little bit. If you're on a hill or something, uh, these handles get smushed in and get bent. So now it is impossible for me to use that keypad lock. Um, they should have put this handle up probably about another foot. I did not take it back to the dealership to complain. Um, there's nothing they're going to be able to do about it. They're going to, yeah, they're going to replace the lock for me for free, um, but it's just going to keep happening. I'm just going to keep having the same problem. Like I said, the latch works perfect. No issue with that. Um, but that, that's a stupid design and it needs to be at least a foot up if they're going to have that lock there. I understand having that lock, um, so if you have a key on your keychain or something like that, so you don't have to take the keypad lock off. I am going to do a 2021 enclosed trailer setup and how I have my enclosed trailer set up and all the equipment that I run. So if you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and like button if you want to see that video um, of my entire setup. I don't know if you can tell or not, but this right here this little metal piece right here was actually a bracket that went like a flanging piece almost that went on this um wood all the way across to the other side um that broke off probably within the first week of me owning this trailer it's probably just a bad design that interstate had wasn't thinking that a mower or something like that with the mower deck possibly could hit this um, trim piece um, but obviously in the first week it did and it broke um, not a big deal I've dealt with it um, it works fine it's definitely not letting any water and so I haven't taken it back to the dealer at all to complain or anything like that um, I really do like the vents that they have and they have quite a bit of them to be honest with you and it really does help in the summertime with the gas smell in here and the heat that's in here the walls are very nice in this trailer I have no complaint about the walls at all it is not the walls that I have the complaint about it is the trim they just literally stapled the trim on with staples um, and after time probably about after a year this has started coming off not a big deal um, just pretty annoying to be honest with you when you're paying six to seven thousand dollars for a trailer you would think that the trim piece would be more secure so right on the trailer interstate puts this breakaway system that they have um, it is a battery charge system and it will charge every time the trailer is connected to the truck um, I'm pretty sure they're putting this on every one of their double axle trailers. Um, if I've read right, that's, I'm pretty sure they have to by law. At least in Michigan, your state could be different. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the breakaway system myself. I get the idea of the breakaway system, but at the same time, if your trailer is hooked up to your truck, and for some reason that pin pulls out in front of your truck and releases or engages the brakes to your trailer, um, you're gonna be going for a ride if those trailer brakes <laughs> engage and you're still going down the road. I do like the vent that they put in. Um, obviously you can see my vent <laughs> is broke and I have a whole lot of acorns there. You can see that big tree way up there. That vent being broke has nothing to do with interstate. That has everything to do with me parking this trailer underneath that big tree. This is a negative that I feel like interstate has done um i don't think these are very strong at least in my trailer um they feel really light duty and you can tell they had just put double adhesive a tape on top of those beams to hold the top of the roof down um not a big deal the roof isn't going to go anywhere but as you can see they're coming apart um, and it kind of makes you mad. If you spend roughly $7,000, you would think there'd be a little bit heavier duty aluminum on the top of the roof, and it wouldn't be taped down with double-sided tape. On the top there, there's one, two, three, four. There's four spots on the top for rubber grommets to go. Um, that just helps 
uh, the cushion when you open the trailer, when you put it down on the ground from damaging anything on the ground or anything on the trailer, those have broken away. Not a big deal. I don't blame Interstate. I probably blame myself to be 100% honest with you. Um, I went on Amazon and very, very cheaply, I went and ordered a whole pack of those rubber little round grommets or whatever you call them um, to replace that. Would I buy this? trailer again the answer is yes definitely i would buy this trailer all over again this trailer has been wonderful it's been a game changer for me and my business would i buy the aluminum frame again probably i think the extra thousand dollars just for the safety and the weight that less weight on my truck is definitely worth it if i ended up going with the steel frame i would have ended up paying 230 dollars extra um, to the state just because of the weight uh, but I saved uh, $230, so in all reality, uh, it wasn't a thousand dollars more than the steel frame. This trailer is amazing, and I would highly recommend this trailer to anybody that's looking at this trailer. Now, this is the only trailer that I have owned like this, so I am not, I cannot tell you, and I cannot compare to any other trailers. Um, I'm just telling you my personal experience and my personal thoughts about this trailer. Hopefully this video helped you guys out in making the decision, is an interstate trailer right for you guys or not? Um, obviously, I am not sponsored by interstate. I just own a lawn care business and I wanted to make a video just to help you guys out. Um, if you're in the market for a trailer, um, I like this trailer, I would buy it again in a heartbeat. Please guys, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Would really, really appreciate it. Thanks guys for watching. Michael Douglas, Douglas Lawn Care. Love you guys. Peace out. Stay safe.